All right, welcome back to uh, another video on co-spaces. I am actually going to revisit a concept that uh, I talked about in video number three, which was the export of models from Tinkercad into co-spaces. Now, in that video, I, I talked about the limitation of files coming from co-spaces being a single color, even though you've made them multicolor in Tinkercad. And it turns out I didn't know enough. I went and saw some other videos from other people on YouTube and realized that it just depends on how you bring your model into CoSpaces, how you export it from Tinkercad. So I'm going to show you two different ways to export and the results of both. So the one I talked about in the previous video was exporting here at the top right. I selected my model and I export as STL. And this is the, the model format that I'm used to when exporting models for 3D printing. However, there is another type of export called OBJ. And one of the nice things about OBJ is that it exports not only the model, the, the mathematics for being able to 3D print this model, it you know exports the geometry, it also exports the color files. So if I'm in CoSpaces and I'm in the upload section here, and I am in the 3D model section, I can upload one of two things. I can either drag these files that I just downloaded into my space, or I can hit upload. If I upload the STL file, it comes in as a as a, an object with a single color, basically. And so what you're seeing there is not only the transparent windows that I had made here, so I and take, took these actual panels, these windows, and I made them transparent, right? Well, it looks really great on the screen, but in, in the case of CoSpaces, they come out as little walls almost. And the other thing about that is when you're 3D printing, the, the fact is if you have any transparent shapes, they're going to come out solid like that. So if I then go in to upload the OBJ file, the OBJ file is actually compressed, which is why it says .zip, um, because it has two files inside, the geometry file as well as the um, color, the color log. So uh, this zip file brings them both in at the same time. The one issue is that they come in as Tinker OBJ, no matter what the original name, like look at the STL file, it came out with the correct file name. And so this one, just you need to go in there and rename it. Um, and I talked to this uh, about this concept with my students because uh, if if five or six of them are working within the same code space and they all bring in OBJ files, they're going to all be called tinker.obj. So I have them rename their files as soon as they bring them in. All right, so I bring this model in, and what you'll notice is that uh, not only did the colors come in, but the transparent portion of the windows also came in uh, into CoSpaces exactly as they looked um, in Tinkercad. All right, so that is the difference between bringing in an STL file and an OBJ file from Tinkercad to CoSpaces.